it's likely less than three years, where you truly have human level capabilities in software development and, and you have agents that are collaborating with you in your organization and in high consequence software environments, right? The software that, as Jason said, essentially, you know, allows our world to operate on from electricity to banking to healthcare. That's a huge shift from where people are today. So we're on this trajectory of, of AI, in our view, really becoming a coworker and becoming part of your organization. Now, that doesn't mean Jason and I don't get equally excited about it and have fun vibe coding an app, you know, like it's 100% there, but where we probably spend more time obsessing over is on the model side on really how do we push the intelligence and capabilities? How do we allow these models to continually learn in enterprise environments? And then on, on everything that's built around the model, how can you bring this safely behind the firewall of a customer? How can you bring the data you know, can you bring the model to the data instead of sending off the data to the yeah. model somewhere else? Because at the end of the day, this is becoming a highly, highly critical infrastructure for, for our world and, and for organizations to use. And I think that's the key thing is what these things look like is that critical infrastructure. And you have to have a certain orientation around it. 